Hello guys, this is Movie Storm. Today, I will tell you about a German satirical dark comedy, where Hitler somehow, appeared in 2014, titled, Look Who's Back. Fabian Sawatsky is filming a documentary, about the lives of young football players in impoverished neighborhoods, where their only salvation is football. Three boys get distracted from the shoot, and notice Adolf Hitler, in torn military uniform. Hitler doesn't understand, how he ended up in this place, he wonders why there are no enemy planes in the sky. At this moment, Fabian captures a news segment with the kids, with Hitler visible in the background. After this, Hitler puts on a soldier's cap, and continues his journey, telling himself, that he needs to reach the Fuhrer's bunker. On the way to the Brandenburg Gate, he interprets modern situations, and things from a wartime perspective. Meanwhile, everyone he encounters assumes, he's just an actor, who playing Hitler. Still bewildered by the events around him, he meets a young woman speaking German. When Hitler asks her about the current date, the woman is horrified, and sprays him in the eyes with pepper spray, obscuring his vision. Then he stumbles upon a nearby newspaper kiosk, takes a newspaper, and learns that it's October 3, 2014. This makes him dizzy, and he eventually loses consciousness. Elsewhere, at a manager's meeting, the head of my TV, Kerner, praises Christoph Sensenbrink for his achievements, as deputy director. However, Kerner announces that a new managing director will be Katia Bellini, another executive, which surprises and displeases Christoph. Unable to change the boss's decision, he goes to his office and expresses his anger, firing Fabian without any reason. Despite his attempts to convince his boss, the security throws Fabian out of the building. In the evening, he watches the documentary film that he shot earlier. His mother approaches him and tries to comfort him. At some point, she asks him to pause the video, noticing Hitler in the background. Because of this, Fabian starts looking for him, in hopes of getting his job back. Meanwhile, Hitler wakes up in the kiosk, and asks the owner about the date. Confused, Hitler thinks the owner kidnapped him, as a trick by enemy intelligence. The owner asks Hitler again, if he's filming a documentary, mistaking him for an actor. Later, Hitler reads a Turkish newspaper, and is shocked to learn about the presence of Turks in Berlin. Reading more about modern Germany, he discovers a completely different nation from the one he left, and realizes that no one agrees with him now. Regretting that Poland still exists on former German land, Hitler says that the entire war was in vain. Therefore, he believes that fate resurrected him for a reason, and swears to continue his mission. The next morning, the owner asks Hitler to clean his clothes, as they are dirty. Then he goes to a laundry, but the attendant there refuses to take his clothes. Luckily, a second laundry is willing to accept his clothes, and even lends Hitler some clothing. Returning to the kiosk, Hitler meets Fabian, who somehow managed to find him. Shocked by his appearance, Fabian suggests to Hitler, that they will travel around modern Germany, and film him for YouTube. Hitler agrees, not even understanding what YouTube is, and Fabian takes some money and a car from his mother, before they leave together. That night, they both end up in a hotel, where Hitler is surprised by a modern television. Seeing this as a propaganda tool, he decides to discuss politics while making the film. Traveling from the North Sea coast, to Bavaria, Fabian films Hitler interacting with ordinary Germans, and he promises to solve their problems with immigrants. One day, they both end up on a farm, where a dog bites Hitler. Enraged, he shoots the dog with a hidden gun. Fabian is outraged, and grabs the gun, but Hitler calls him weak, and vows to make a man out of him. After a while, they run out of money, so Fabian calls Christoph for help. Unfortunately, Christoph quickly hangs up, showing he doesn't want to help them at all. At the same time, Hitler creates another problem by breaking the car's headlights. Soon, they decided to earn money, by painting portraits of passers-by. Having accumulated enough money, they continue their journey, and meet many people across Germany. Unexpectedly, many people have come to love this version of Hitler, and his videos garner millions of views. As a result, they both return to Berlin, where Fabian introduces Hitler, and his idea to the MyTV station executives. Hitler finally meets Bellini, and asks her to join him in saving Germany, but instead, Bellini decides to use Hitler in one of MyTV's comedies. On the other hand, Fabian threatens Christoph to give him back his job, otherwise he will take away Hitler. Hearing this, Christoph gives him a job, delivering coffee. Later, Hitler is given a desk in the television studio, and Christoph brings in an assistant, Vera Kromier, to teach Hitler how to use a computer and the internet. During a live comedy show, 
Hitler unintentionally becomes a hit, due to his old plans of creating an ethnically homogeneous fascist state. As a result, Bellini orders Kristoff to feature Hitler in every show. As his comedic success grows, Hitler gives interviews on various TV shows, proclaiming his motive to make Germany great again. He also uses his popularity to meet with several people and party leaders, gradually changing Germany's governmental system. One day, he and Fabian visit the headquarters of the Social Democratic Party of Germany in Berlin, where he questions the party's federal chairman about their achievements. Then, he belittles the federal chairman, stating that they have wasted enough time, and that every word they say sets the movement back decades. Meanwhile, police and a district prosecutor appear at the TV studio. They tell Bellini they're here to file a complaint against an alleged violation of the hate law. Fortunately, the district prosecutor says they can continue broadcasting the show. In response, Bellini talks privately with Hitler and asks him to tell her about his past. However, every answer he gives is always taken as a joke by her. At the same time, Cromier hands Kristoff a letter detailing the payment for the dog that he shot during filming. This leads him to discover an unedited video where Hitler shoots the dog. In another live broadcast, the jealous Kristoff intentionally airs the footage, causing negative viewer reactions. This also ruins the growing careers of Hitler, Fabian, and Bellini, and leads to Kristoff's promotion to head of the residency. Soon after, Fabian and Hitler return to Fabian's mother's house. Over time, Hitler starts writing a book about his new life in the 21st century, titled Look Who's Back. The autobiographical book soon becomes a bestseller. After this, Fabian decides to turn the book into a film with Bellini's help. Three months later, my TV executives hold a meeting to discuss the company's huge losses. Kristoff explodes in anger and berates some employees. One of the employees suggests rehiring Hitler, which interests Kristoff. At that moment, he goes to the filming location and tells Fabian that he will increase their budget by a million if my TV airs their upcoming film. Following this, Fabian and Hitler visit Cromier's home, where Cromier's grandmother recognizes Hitler and accuses him of poisoning people with gas. In a fit of rage, she orders him to leave immediately. On the way, Hitler expresses disappointment upon learning that Cromier is Jewish. He continues to insult and demean Jews, calling them less than human. Back in the studio, Fabian asks Hitler to reproduce how he appeared this year. He asks Hitler what happened before the soccer ball bounced to him, but Hitler can't remember anything. After a night of filming, he leaves the set and is attacked by two neo-Nazis who consider him a fraud, mocking their beliefs. Some time later, he ends up in the hospital and sees Bellini before him. She informs him that news of his attack has garnered sympathy and he regains a high authority among the German people. While Hitler recovers, Sawatsky reviews his old footage and discovers an energy cluster in the background, before Hitler first appeared. He quickly returns to the spot and finds burnt leaves. Additionally, he finds a sign indicating the historical location of the Führerbunker. With horror, he realizes that the Hitler he encountered was a real person from the very beginning. He rushes to the hospital to talk to Hitler but only finds Bellini, who says Hitler is at the film studio. Fabian tries to convince her that Hitler is real but Bellini doesn't believe him. Consequently, he wrecks the hospital room before running out, pursued by two orderlies. A few moments later, Fabian arrives at the film studio and quickly points a gun at Hitler, saying that he's fooling people with his propaganda. Hitler calmly responds that he was chosen by the German people in 1933. Then, Fabian takes Hitler to the rooftop, aiming the gun at him. He corners Hitler and declares him a monster. Hitler responds that if he's a monster, then everyone who voted for him is also a monster. In anger, Fabian quickly shoots Hitler and watches him fall from the roof. Unexpectedly behind him, Hitler reappears and claiming that he cannot be killed because he's a part of every German. After a while, Bellini says stop and everyone rejoices at the end of the shoot. It turns out the entire scene is part of a film and Fabian is a stand-in with a silicone mask. The real Fabian has been placed in a psychiatric hospital, after his previous statement that Hitler is still alive. After finishing work on the film, Hitler and Bellini are busy giving autographs and interviews about their famous film. At this moment, Hitler feels he's on the path to a political comeback, as he's more popular than ever. Moreover, German nationalists also hold hope that Germany might be ready for his return to power. When Hitler and Bellini ride in the back seat of a car, 
among the images of real nationalist demonstrations. The film ends with Hitler's voiceover, I can handle this. And this is all for today. Subscribe to watch more similar videos, turn on notifications, and hit the like button to support the channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon.